Lewis, uh, we got out here, coming out here just a moment, two fascinating guests. Yeah. Uh, uh, our first guest, oh, we've had on before, I enjoyed talking to this young lady, Jessica Chastain will be out here. <laughs> she's on Broadway. Yeah, she's, she's on Broadway at a, a, a doll's house, doing Ibsen's uh, doll's house. Uh, and then we have uh, author of Eight Rules of Love, uh, Jay Shetty. Jay Shetty. Come down here. Yeah. Former monk. A former, uh, a former monk. Right. Um, also, oh, uh, for everybody out there uh, who uh, have did not know, was it last week? Two weeks ago? Something like last week? Tom Hanks was over here, and we did a little uh, game that we do sometimes Ooh. do called uh, Maybe Coming Soon, where we talk about the movies that we've made together that we've forgotten that we made together, but my graphics department has made up the posters for those. And uh, those, those movies... And Tom and I signed all of the posters uh, for that bit over there. And these posters right now, let me get this right. These are all on auction right now on eBay. You can go to that spot, just QR that thing right there, or go to ColbertLateShow.com slash eBay to bid on the posters. All proceeds benefit Hire Heroes USA. Awesome. Uh, go get them, y'all. It's Ooh. one of a kind. Yeah. Yeah. On that. I'd bid on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Folks, if you watch the show, you know I spend most of my time right over there picking through the day's biggest news stories and coiling them inside hand sewn cotton and surrounding them in 10 layers of horsetail fibers, Talele Latex and Joma Wool to present with you the Cluft Palais Royale mattress that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, just sometimes, folks, I stumble through a construction site while on the run after snitching on the triads, rip the plastic off a pile of bricks, fill it with roofing nails and joinery staples, then chuck some fiberglass insulation over it and collapse onto the dilapidated box spring of news that is my segment. Meanwhile, there's news about Fireball, the liquor that answers the question, what if Big Red Gum could <laughs> you up? <laughs> Consumers are suing the makers of Fireball whiskey because there's no whiskey in the mini bottles of Fireball sold in gas stations. What? <laughs> but this revelation destroys the reputation of groceries I buy at gas stations. <laughs> Next, you're going to tell me that Slim Jims contain no gym. <laughs> but the company has a defense. They say... They actually produce two blends of technically beverage, Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey, and the one they sell in gas stations, a malt liquor product, which is just called Fireball Cinnamon. Just Fireball Cinnamon. Never good when the label doesn't clarify what you're consuming. <laughs> it's like when Post Cereal started selling honey bunches of wouldn't you like to know. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Los Angeles, an adult store shopper tried to steal a 30-inch dildo. <laughs> Thirty inches, so about average. <laughs> Meanwhile, organization expert Marie Kondo has admitted that she's kind of given up on tidying up after having three kids. <laughs> oh, I am keeping this story. It sparks joy. Meanwhile, news from a little place I like to call Colorado, where a diva bear can't stop taking selfies on a wildlife cam. <laughs> yes, bear! With a jawline like that, can you blame it? It's giving coy, it's giving smize, it's giving, hey, is that a chubby Boy Scout? <laughs> Overall, the bear has returned to the same motion-activated wildlife cam to take over 400 bear <laughs> selfies. It's very impressive. Very impressive. It's a photographic technique known as your aunt trying to figure out her iPad. <laughs> Meanwhile, a burger chain is switching to Coca-Cola, and Pepsi fans are furious. That is crazy. What is a Pepsi fan? <laughs> the switch comes from Wisconsin-based burger chain Culver's, best known for its cheese curds, infamous bacon deluxe, and something called the Butter Burger. 
You know their motto, Culver's, sir, sir, oh God, is anyone here a doctor? <laughs> Something. Something. <laughs> Meanwhile, James Dolan, the owner of the New York Knicks, has come under fire recently for using facial recognition software to prevent lawyers who are currently suing his company from entering Madison Square Garden. That is so petty. But that's just one of the problems with that venue. What about the name, Madison Square Garden? It is none of those things. <laughs> it should be called 8th Avenue Circular Basketball Dog Show Hut with Train Below. The New York Attorney General is trying to crack down on Dolan, and they've threatened to hold withhold MSG's liquor license. And in response, James Dolan has threatened to not serve alcohol at an upcoming Rangers game. Even worse, Dolan has threatened to serve more alcohol at Billy Joel concerts. <laughs> Joe McCarthy, Richard Nixon, Ruta Vega, I'm a chicken, something, 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 Marilyn Moon Roof. <laughs> Meanwhile, Leonard Bernstein. Meanwhile, a California woman who at 115 is now the world's oldest person says the key to longevity is to stay away from toxic people, adding drink lots of water, adding drink lots of water, take long walks, and cut trifling bitches out your posse. Yes. Anybody got time for that? Lewis, you know that. Anybody got time for that? That's right. Meanwhile, in transportation news, a Texas DMV rejected a vegan license plate. Apparently, the vanity plate was flagged for a vulgar phrase because it was supposed to say, love tofu, but it looked like, love to F you. <laughs> it's an easy mistake, but if you want to show off your love of vegan food without any sexual innuendo, I suggest yum nuts. We'll be right back with Jessica Chastain.